Und zwar freut es mich sehr, den Herrn Professor Michael Hollick aus der Universität Boston fort, äh, anzukündigen. Das ist derjenige, der eigentlich die gesamte Vitamin-D-Forschung weltweit bestimmt. Ohne seine Arbeiten in den Jahren 70, 71, letztes Jahrhundert, gäbe es die gesamte aktuelle Vitamin-D-Forschung nicht. Vitamin-D prevents age-dependent accumulation of SDS in soluble proteins. Well, can he live longer, right? Turns out that studies have shown all-cause mortality reduced by 7% if you increase your vitamin D intake. Study here in Germany showed optimum 20-hydroxy-D of greater than 30, all-cause mortality reduced by 25%. Right? And the Garland brothers showed very nicely, again, mortality risk markedly reduced if you improve your vitamin D status, and it's maintained out to greater than 70 nanograms per ml. And so, is there any other evidence that vitamin D can improve your immune health? So we did a study where we took healthy adults and put them on 2,000 units of vitamin D a day and looked at gene chip analysis of almost 23,000 genes. All of these blue lines, of course, are underexpressed, under and all of these orange and white are overexpressed genes. Just giving 2,000 units of vitamin D a day for just three months, up and down regulated 291 genes in the immune system of these healthy adults. In fact, it was regulating more than 80 metabolic processes, DNA repair, apoptosis, and oxidative stress. Feed your genes right with vitamin D, right? So, Adequate vitamin D is critically important from birth until death. And indeed, vitamin D deficiency is a disease of neglect. Indeed, there's a mountain of evidence linking it to these chronic illnesses. So don't think about a normal level, but a healthy level. We want you to be just like they are, right? 40 to 50 nanograms per ml. To achieve this, you need to be on 4,000 to 5,000 units of vitamin D a day. This is telling us, again, from an evolution perspective, our hunter-gatherers outside every day making thousands of units of vitamin D. Goal, 30 nanograms at least, 40 to 60 is preferred. And the disease burden is quite impressive in terms of vitamin D deficiency as a worldwide health issue. And so how much do you need? Well, it turns out that for every 100 units you ingest, you raise your blood level by one. 